is up. Welcome to Every Single Guitars, where the goal of this channel is to review every single guitar ever made. In this channel, I reviewed several different types of guitars, several different models of guitars, several different brands of guitars. But if I have to give you a percentage of what types of guitars that I've been reviewing, the majority of the guitars have been, you know, over $500 guitars, over $1,000 guitars. But since the goal of this channel is to review every single guitar, I can't just be reviewing guitars, you know, that are over a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks. I have to diversify just like you would do in your personal investments and review different types of guitars with different price points. So today I have a Keith Urban signature acoustic guitar. Actually, I'm not sure if signature is the right word because I don't think he personally plays this guitar, but this is the guitar that Keith Urban produced to sell to beginner guitarist, intermediate guitarist, basically someone who wants to learn the guitar and wants a good quality guitar for the money that they spend. So for me personally, I've always known of Keith Urban. I'm actually a fan of Keith Urban. I'm not a diehard huge fan, but I do listen to some of his songs. And to be honest, I always viewed Keith Urban as just like a country pop guy, but I've seen some concerts where he played with John Mayer side by side live on stage. And what really impressed me was his guitar playing. Keith Urban can play the guitar. He can play the blues for sure. You know, when I first saw that John Mayer and Keith Urban video side by side, my mentality going in was, this is gonna be an easy win for John Mayer. Obviously in music, it's not a competition, but you know, most of the times when two players play, you can kind of tell who's better. But when I saw Keith Urban playing with John Mayer, I still preferred John Mayer's playing, but Keith Urban greatly surprised me with his guitar playing. Watch that video, that man can play the guitar for sure. But I actually didn't know that Keith Urban had his own acoustic guitar line, uh, such as this one. So I was curious and I decided to pick this up and see what it's like in person. So price-wise, I'm not too sure what the exact price it is, brand new, but I'm assuming it's not over $200 with the case. And this guitar also came with a guitar amp, a small guitar amp. But right off the bat, just from a build quality perspective, I'd say that this is pretty good build quality. For under 200 bucks, you have to keep in mind the price point. If your main guitar is over a thousand bucks, over 2000 bucks, you can't be using the same criteria to judge this guitar. That's just not fair at all. When judging a guitar, for me personally, I always keep in mind the price points of the guitar because different price points will have different quality materials, different quality grade wood, and different quality grade hardware. For a under $200 guitar, I'd say that the overall build of this is pretty damn good. First impression for the weight, this is a pretty light guitar. Even though this is a Dreadnought with a cutaway, Dreadnought is a pretty big guitar when it comes to acoustics, but this particular guitar, even though it's a Dreadnought shape, it is a light guitar. I'd say this is maybe four pounds. But other than the weight, the first thing that came to my notice was, dude, this guitar looks kind of fancy for a beginner entry level guitar with these abalone binding that goes throughout this entire guitar, including the back, which is a three piece back, assuming this is a laminate, but still, it just looks like a very elegant and luxurious guitar for under 200. Also, you got the abalone inlays on the sound hole, as well as this very unique inlay design on the fretboard. It looks like some kind of bird. No, it looks like some kind of wing. Just from a visual perspective, how a guitar looks, this just looks like a fancy guitar for a beginner. This neck profile, I'd say, is pretty standard, but a little bit thicker than a standard neck. If you've seen my Jasmine guitar review, the S34C, I believe, that had a pretty slim neck. For reference, it's that type of Jasmine neck, but a little bit thicker in the middle. But still, it's a very comfortable neck to play. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another cool thing about this guitar is it has the Keith Urban signature logo right on the bottom. Like I said, it just gives it a very luxurious feel to a entry level guitar. Like for example, if I was, you know, 10 years old going to a store, looking for my first guitar to buy. If I saw this guitar on the wall, this is probably the first thing that would come to my mind if I was looking for a guitar. It just looks very fancy, like I said. Another cool feature of this guitar is this is actually a acoustic electric guitar. There is a output jack on the bottom with a nine volt battery, I assume. And also you can control the electronics on the top of the guitar. Treble, middle, bass, presence, there's also a built-in tuner as well as a volume control. Hey man, for a beginner, if you're looking into playing the guitar, this guitar has more than what you need to start learning. I'd say that the cheapest part of this guitar, and this is the theme that I see for a lot of lower end budget guitars, is just the quality of the tuners. These tuners, the quality itself is not bad, but these tuners are just not high quality tuners. So for example, if you're playing this live on stage and gigging, you may experience some tuning instability issues. So to prevent that, all you have to do is just upgrade these into better tuners. But other than that, I'd say that for a sub $200 guitar, this is very good. So let's see how this guitar sounds. sub $200 guitar this is not a bad guitar at all like I said the biggest issue that I have which isn't too big but it is an issue is just the quality of the tuners a lot of the import guitars the overall build construction is usually pretty good but they do cheap out on the hardware such as the tuners and that is the case for this guitar but other than that you know if you're getting into guitar you want to learn the guitar or if you're just a fan of Keith Urban and you want a beater type guitar, I'd say check this one out because this is not a bad guitar at all to play. Build quality, I'd probably give this a 7.5 out of 10. Tone, I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10. So for under 200, I'd say that this is overall a pretty solid acoustic electric guitar.